Maybe they're your worst nightmare. Or perhaps they bring a smile to your face. Grizzly bears are famous for triggering a whole range of different emotions, most of them passionate. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Let me, let me start with this one. What's the first thing that pops into your head when I say grizzly bear? Alaska. Claws. <laughs> Beautiful. Kill. Hunting. Rug. Ooh. Don't need him here. Trouble. Really big. Scary. Magnificent wild creature. Mountains. Nature. A big bear holding a cupcake. They're big rascals. <laughs> I'm Chris Morgan. I'm an ecologist and filmmaker. Bears have been my specialty for 25 years. I've worked all over the world and even captured radio collared and tracked them on foot for 2,000 miles in the Canadian Rockies. So I got to know them really well. And what started as fear ended up as a deep respect for an animal that fascinates me. But as much as that, my other passion became sharing what I'd learned with other people. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Chris Morgan. Chris. I came to Washington State 20 years ago and made it home. And I set out to find out what other people know and how they feel about grizzly bears in the North Cascades. You got it time for a quick quiz. Have you any idea how heavy a grizzly bear might be when it's born? 80 pounds. 15 pounds. 14 pounds. About 30 pounds. 12 pounds. What if I told you one pound when it's born? Oh, I want to see one now. That light. Do you know how many grizzly bears there used to be in the lower 48? 5,000. 3,000. We think there were 50, maybe 100,000 grizzlies in the lower 48, and now there are fewer than 2,000. So. We've done this amazing job of pushing them into these little corners, and we're standing in one of them right now. And in the North Cascades, fewer than 20, maybe only two or three, but we get a handful of unverified potential sightings every year. There was a photograph in 2010 and a photograph in 2012 on those remote cameras, just 10 miles north of the border. What percentage of a bear's diet is meat? 75%. 50%? I'll say a third. Generally less than 20%. Which one would win in a smelling competition, a bloodhound or a grizzly bear? A bloodhound. I'm going with grizzly bear. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> what does a bear eat? Chipmunks. Berries. Fish. Baby elk. Clams. Cattle. Moths. Grass. Yeah, everything they can find. Fish. Good answer. A bear's most common food? Plants. They are mostly grazers. In the North Cascades, there are 100 plant species on the bear's menu and they can eat 100,000 berries or even 40,000 moths in a day. What kind of things tell you that bears have been around? Scat. 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 If you want to know if it's bear poop or deer poop, you could look into the poop and see if there's seeds or not, because they eat berries. Seeds and fertilizer, all in one package. Look out for tracks. This is a rear track of a grizzly bear. The other thing you can find is, is hair on trees, where they've been back rubbing on trees, you know, so look out for that stuff. And flipped rocks tell you a bear has been searching for insects and grubs. What's the difference between a grizzly bear and a black bear? They have kind of a hump on their shoulder. And then a dished nose. And claw length is a big one. Are grizzly bears dangerous? Of course they can be. They're wild animals trying to survive. So attacks are usually about defending food or cubs or in response to a surprise. You can take some pretty simple precautions, though. Carry bear spray. It's way more effective than bullets. Wet noses and electric fences don't mix well. And make noise on the trail. Bears don't like surprises. Do you think grizzlies would be good or bad for the economy? Well, judging by places like Yellowstone, where people come to see them, you know, it's probably good. In a national park such as this, it would attract people to maybe see, see the bears more. I would say they'd be great for the economy. Definitely not good for the livestock industry. Probably good all in all for tourism, I would think. Actually, a whole bunch of studies have shown that they are really good for the economy in terms of bear viewing, you know, Yellowstone and other places. They pump millions of dollars a year into the economy there, just locally, by having grizzly bears there. Awesome. How would you feel about seeing a grizzly bear in, in this ecosystem? In oh, this? I think it'd be cool, man. If I was going through here and I saw one, you know, it'd be cool. Yeah. 
But maybe you have bigger questions. Are bears part of our natural heritage? Are they important for ecosystems? Should we steward them for future generations? A majority of people think so. Can we coexist with grizzly bears? No, because people do stupid things. No. I know they can't coexist. <laughs> they can't coexist in Alaska. Oh, absolutely. They do in Alaska. Absolutely. absolutely. They were here once before, right? Grizzly bears have seen glaciers and entire species come and go. They've been a part of the North Cascades for around 20,000 years. They now live in a time when their fate will be decided by us. The National Park Service and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, in collaboration with other agencies, have begun a process to figure out how to recover the North Cascades grizzly bear. And not everyone is in agreement, so it has to be fair and open. Would you like to see a healthy population of grizzly bears in the North Cascades again? Why, certainly. They're part of the, uh, part of the Northwest. No. Yes. Why? Because the food chain needs them um, to help the food chain keep going. Well, I'm against it, because uh, why would you want something that's big and tough here, you mean? I just think they're a magnificent animal, so any time that we can, again, bring something back and have it to where our kids can see it and know about it rather than just in a book is amazing. It's just good for conservation, good for anything. And if the grizzly wants to come in, let him come in. He has a right to be here. I don't want to see him extinct at all. Recovery for the North Cascades grizzly bear won't be fast. It might take a hundred years. None of us want to see lions or elephants disappear. In the same way, it's time for us to think really carefully together about the grizzly bear's place on Earth and here in the North Cascades. Yeah. <laughs>